Good evening. This is Luke Thomas from here at the Earthquake Forecast Center, quakeprediction.com. It is 8.36 in the evening on Tuesday, August 17th, 2021. 8.36 p.m. Tuesday, August 17th, 2021. Let's take a look at the forecast here. And pretty quiet across the globe. We have a bunch of quakes hitting down near the Sandwich Islands, but otherwise sort of calm. Uh, at least for the areas that I'm forecasting for. Let's start with uh, Anchorage, Alaska. And tonight and tomorrow, we could get a, a 3.5 on this spike in risk on the 18th, maybe a 3.0 on the 21st in Anchorage, Bakersfield. We have two strong spikes in risk coming up in California. One is down near the Salton Sea in Los Angeles. 5.3 is possible there, right around 4 p.m. And then a big, very strong spike in risk uh, that should hit near Koalinga, Bakersfield, San Francisco area on the 21st. So we'll start off with this first one here on uh, near Los Angeles on uh, tomorrow, August 18th at around 4 p.m. Koalinga. We have that uh, showing up here as well, that 5.3 to 5.6 is possible in Southern California on August 18th at around 4 p.m. in Southern California, most likely near the Salton Sea. And then on the 21st, this should be about a 5.7. 5.7 is possible in the Koalinga Parkfield area on August 21st. So please prepare for that. For those who live in that area, August 21st is uh, possible. We'll know better tomorrow about that. El Centro, 5.3 is likely near Los Angeles and the Salton Sea, El Centro area, uh, during the next uh, 24 hours or so, most likely at about 4 p.m. tomorrow, August 18th. And then a 5.7 is possible near Coalinga Parkfield on August 21st. All right. And Eureka, 4.0 is possible in the 18th or 19th up in Eureka. And let's see, Hawaii, 4.0 is possible tomorrow, August 18th in Hawaii uh, on that peak in Los Angeles. 5.3 is likely, strong earthquake is likely in Southern California between uh, Los Angeles to the Salton Sea area, San Diego, that area, uh, about 4 p.m. on August 18th. And then uh, there's a spike here in Los Angeles that could produce about a 4.1 in and around the Los Angeles area. But that is more likely uh, reflecting the risk near Koalinga, which is that 5.7 is possible up near Koalinga. So a big quake coming to Los Angeles and Salt and Sea area tomorrow at around 4 p.m. And then in Reno, this uh, quake is possible near Coaling on the 21st, 5.7. And then a 5.5 is possible near Reno, Nevada on August 21st into the 22nd. All right, Ridgecrest, area in your current 5.3 is likely in the Los Angeles area. And then a 5.0 is possible in the Ridgecrest area in the morning of August 21st. However, that looks like it's going to be more over toward Koalinga Parkfield, and it looks like about a 5.7. We'll know more about that tomorrow. In Salt Lake City, a very strong spike in risk coming up on the 22nd. But a 5.2 earthquake is possible on August 22nd in the Salt Lake City area. All right, San Diego, uh, this 5.3 to 5.6 is likely tomorrow around 4 p.m. in the San Diego area, most likely east of there near the Salton Sea. 4.0 is possible on the 21st, and 5.7 is possible on the 21st in the Coalinga area. Right there. All right, San Francisco. This uh, peak in the south is showing up in San Francisco as well. And that should be more near the Salton Sea, that 5.3 at 4 p.m. tomorrow. And then a 5.7 is possible near Coalinga, California, southeast of San Francisco. But uh, remember, this uh, 
if it says uh, if it's on this graph here, it's it's still possible in San Francisco Bay as well, but it's most likely near Coalinga where the strongest spike in risk is 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 Coalinga, but it could hit in San Francisco Bay as well. It's very very high risk on the twenty first. But first of all, we have to deal with this one coming up tomorrow, 4 p.m. in the Los Angeles Salton Sea area. Santa Maria, northwest of LA, is picking up on this quake in the south at about 4 p.m., 5.3 to 5.6. And this is uh, 5.7 as possible, Koalinga on the 21st. Seattle, Washington, we have a spike in risk. Today, we had a few small earthquakes around that area and then another spike in risk on the 21st. Athens, Greece. And Athens, Greece is a strong spike in risk coming up on the 18th into the 19th. So tomorrow, in actually all day tomorrow, 5.5 is possible in the Athens, Greece area. So we can look out for that. It's a pretty strong spike in risk in Athens, Greece tomorrow, the 18th. And in Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico, 5.0 is possible on the 18th. And on the 19th, a 5.0 is possible in the Port-au-Prince area. So we'll keep an eye on that. Puerto Rico is possible tomorrow, a significant earthquake in Puerto Rico. And Lima, Peru. Lima, Peru, a 5.0 is possible late tonight there. And uh, then a stronger 5.5 to 6.0 is possible, or even likely 5.5 to 6.0 late tomorrow, the 18th into early on the 19th. So we'll watch for that around Lima, Peru, late tomorrow into tomorrow morning, or the 19th in the morning, 18th and the 19th, 5.5 is likely. Taiwan. A 5.2 is possible on the 19th or 20th in Taiwan. And we'll go back to this other side of the list here. Chile, Santiago, Chile. Uh, 5.0 is po possible tomorrow on the 18th in Santiago. And Croatia, a 4.6 hit on this peak right here. And we're coming up on this spike and risk right now in uh, Zagreb, Croatia. 5.1 is possible during the next uh, 12 hours or so in Zagreb, Croatia. And then we have another spike on the 20th. Indonesia. These are relatively small peaks. 5.0 is possible on the 19th. And again on the 21st in and around Jakarta, Indonesia. And last but not least, Japan, Tokyo, Japan. Uh, this risk spikes on and peaks on the 20th in both Sendai, Japan, in Miyagi, and in Tokyo, where a 4.8, 4.8 is possible on August 20th. All right, let's take a look once more at the uh, Los Angeles area. Looking for a 5.3 earthquake is likely in the Los Angeles to Salton Sea area tomorrow, the 18th, and most likely at around 4 p.m. And then on the 21st, we'll know more about this in the next couple of days, but looks like a 5.7 is possible near a Koalinga on the 21st in the morning of the 21st. But first, we need to get through this quake tomorrow in the Los Angeles to Salt in the sea area. Here's the El Centro forecast. 5.3 is likely tomorrow at around 4 p.m. And then a 5.7 is possible near Koalinga on the 21st. So stay tuned. And tomorrow evening, when we come and do the uh, forecast for tomorrow night, we will most likely be talking about the quake that hit in Southern California. And then we'll be talking about the, the next upcoming quake, likely in the Koalinga Parkfield area, but right now we're concerned about the quake coming up in the Los Angeles to Salton Sea area. Thanks so much for uh, your support here at QuakePredictions.com, Earthquake Forecast Center. We'll be talking again tomorrow night, and we'll be mentioning and talking about that quake coming up in Southern California. Be, please be prepared for that. Strong earthquake in Southern California tomorrow, most likely around 4 p.m., 
and uh, also some significant earthquakes around the world in uh, Athens. Please check all the uh, forecast maps over quakeprediction.com for a city near you. We'll talk to you tomorrow on Wednesday, August 18th. Talk to you later.